Asuka against Nikki Bella. Oh, man. I can't wait to see these two go at it. Divas beware. Nikki Bella has that trademark Bella speed, intelligence, and fire. Nikki also has a physical power that makes it possible for her to put a beating on Divas of all shapes and sizes. Since she's a Bella, you know she uses all of her assets to her advantage. Well, this has all the makings of a beautiful match. I can't believe I get paid for this. Me either. Man, oh man, I just love it when one of the Bella twins is in the ring, and tonight is no exception. Tell us your thoughts about Nikki Bella. Nikki Bella is certainly going to be tested here tonight, but there's few better than her when it comes to one-on-one -on -one action. Nikki and her twin Brie might be the greatest combination since peanut butter and jelly. They're probably tastier too. Well, her legs in serious trouble. That shot landed on her and was a direct hit. Well, she hit her target perfectly. You know, since day one here in WWE, Nikki Bella has proved she is way more than a pretty face. Nikki has great agility from her days playing soccer for fast ground and air attacks. And she's not afraid to fight fire with fire. And she's definitely the power member of the Bellas. She's absorbing some offense here. But I'd be surprised if she doesn't find a way back in control of this thing. You said it, Michael. And these Divas have given us an incredibly even match contest up to this point. Yeah, but it's been a pretty even back and forth battle up until now. Oh, that poor Divas face. I've said it before, and I'll happily say it again. And the fight must go on. Asuka is just too fast there. She is quick. Oh, what a counter by lovely Nikki. She looks unbeatable tonight. And here's a cover. We're looking at complete. Hoping and it early. Here's hoping. She's and the shoulder gets up in time. I'm not sure, King. This is impressive. Wow, what a forearm smash. There it is, the finisher. This could all be over right now. Oh, man, she hit the rack attack. Oh, there it is, what a maneuver. That's how you put away an opponent. I love it. Now that's what you call finishing a fight. This is where you need to look out. The wall of a WWE steel cage measures 15 feet high, and that's dangerous no matter who you are. Uh, you can say that again, Michael. That'll definitely give you a different perspective on the severity of a steel cage match. This single's coming.